Leakers have found camos in the Vanguard files. What camos are we getting for Vanguard? And is Dark Eva camo returning? Okay, so we are currently in the second week of the beta for PlayStation. This is actually the start of the first official week for the other consoles, so Xbox and PC. And we have gotten a ton of new information. What is going to be added into the final game Vanguard. So if you want to hear my opinion real quick, the beta is extremely good. Everyone should play it if you're able to play it on PlayStation. It's free at the moment, but at the moment we can play with a lot of different guns and even level them up. And with the release of this beta week, leakers have actually dug into the files and have found some very interesting information. So the Twitter user Zesty Cod Leaks, who has already leaked a lot of information for other games such as Cold War and Modern Warfare and has always basically predicted things that were going to happen in the game. I'm talking about, for example, zombie camos coming to Warzone. He was one of the first leakers to actually look into the files and find this information that the zombie camos were actually added into Warzone. And this time he has dug into the Vanguard files again and he has found information about different camos that are in Call of Duty Vanguard. So the camo file names that he actually found in the Vanguard files were Damascus, which we've already seen in Modern Warfare before, Onyx, Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, Jade, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and Wood. Now, a lot of these are camos that we were already expecting. Like a gold camo is just a standard camo to have. Silver is also a pretty obvious choice because, of course, this game is a World War II game. So, what did they have back then? Gold, silver, and bronze. And bronze is also a camo in the game. What I find really interesting is that they added Damascus. Now this might be because of Warzone and Damascus will probably not be in the end game. But if for some reason they actually add Damascus, that would be pretty cool. And it would actually be very fitting to the game because Damascus is not a reactive camo. Like for example, Dark Aether is. So it doesn't move. It's a basically a still standing camo. The camo called Wood is also a camo that is very fitting to the game, I feel like, because having a Wood camo in a World War II game, it, it makes sense, you know? It's not <laughs> an out of the world camo. It makes sense and it's probably going to look very cool. Like imagine having a gun covered in Wood, just a wooden gun. That's pretty cool. Wood will probably not be like a mastery camo though, because I feel like wood will probably be one of the base camos you get. For example, if we look at Cold War before we get Dark Matter camo or Dark Aether camo and so on, we have a bunch of other camos that we need to get where we need to get like uh, five kills without dying and so on. And I feel like wood will be one of those camos and it won't be a mastery camo. Now the camos I'm most excited for are Onyx, Sapphire, Ruby and Jade because they sound actually amazing. Now I have some pictures here of what comes up if you type in those camos. So obviously we don't have the actual camos for the guns, but these are some of like things that will look like the camo and wow, they look pretty good. Onyx looks a lot like Obsidian, so it will probably be like an Obsidian camo and Obsidian looks pretty good in Modern Warfare. If you've ever played Modern Warfare, you will know like Obsidian, it, it, it's sleek, it's simple, but it looks really cool. If we look at Jade, Jade looks like it's a really special camo, like it will really like stand out. Now my favorite camo is Sapphire, look at that. Look at the color Sapphire, wow. Like imagine your gun being wrapped in Sapphire. That, that, that's pretty cool. That would probably be even cooler than, for example, diamond camo. But what about the zombie camos? Is Dark Aether returning? A lot of you guys have probably already heard about this information and it's official. Treyarch is actually making the zombies mode for Vanguard. This is big news because Treyarch has never produced two zombie games back to back. As you guys know, Call of Duty has like a cycle of developers. So one year it's going to be Treyarch developing a Call of Duty. The next year it's going to be, for example, Sledgehammer Games. And we've already gotten some leaks and information that the zombie storyline that was started in Cold War is going to be continued in Vanguard. What does this mean? It means that a lot of elements of, for example, the gameplay 
and of course the storyline is going to be repeated and is going to be integrated into Vanguard. So for anyone who's expecting Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies to be extremely different to Cold War Zombies, I'm sorry, it's not. It's basically going to be the same thing, of course, with different maps. But this brings up the question, is Dark Aether and Plague Diamond and the rest of the zombie cameras that we have in Cold War, are they just going to be repeated in the zombie mode? Now, this is actually a possibility because Treyarch has not had a lot of time to actually work on this zombie mode. But even if they put the zombie camos from Cold War into Vanguard, they're going to look a little bit different. As we've seen in the Cold War zombies camo integration into Warzone, Dark Aether looks different on Warzone than it does in Cold War. And that is because of the different engine. Now, Warzone is on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine and Vanguard is going to be on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. So cameras are going to look identical to how they look like in Vanguard as they do in Warzone because it's the same engine. Now, when it comes to the story of Cold War Vanguard zombies, a lot of people are talking about Red Dark Aether. So that, that's going to be basically the storyline that's going to be set in the zombies mode. Now, if that really is the case, it would be pretty obvious that the end camo is going to be Red Dark Aether, right? So if I had to guess, they are going to put a Red Dark Aether camo as the last camo to get as the final mastery camo like Dark Aether is in Cold War. And it wouldn't surprise me if they just made a Red Plague Diamond camo and a Red Gold camo. Because as I already said, they don't really have that much time to develop the game. So they might as well just push out new camos that are a little bit different than the Cold War camos but are still super easy to produce because they just need to tweak the colors. Yeah, guys, I'm super excited for Vanguard's official release and I'll update you guys as soon as I get more information about the camos. Thank you so much. Subscribe.